I'm Cece Summers. Welcome to Stuck in a Yandere Visual Novel. Help! The game where we're going to try to get out of some sticky situations from some well-intentioned but a little too enthusiastic gentlemen. And it will in no way, shape, or form end badly for us. <laughs> The next scene contains mentions of live dissection and gore. Would you like to skip it? This is already so promising. <laughs> my eyes open to a dark room, and I groan as I try to rub the blurriness from my vision. Try to rub? Something feels wrong as I lift my right hand. What's that in front of me? I blink as my eyes focus on two. Ah! My breathing accelerates, my heartbeat thundering in my ears as I stare at the bloody mass inches from my face. The skin is pulled off, muscles clear to the eye with blood and veins glistening over bones and sinew. God damn! <laughs> what is this? I try to pull it away from my face with my hands, but find nothing reaching for it, only for the mutilated hand to wave itself in front of me. I crank my head away, but find a restraint on my neck preventing much movement. And that's when I see it. The scream is stuck in my throat. I don't understand, I don't understand. The mutilated hand is attached to my elbow, is attached to my shoulder, is attached to my neck, is attached to... me. <laughs> they took our skin. <laughs> So that's how it works. Remy? She's here? Where is she? I struggle to turn my head around to search for her. My eyes are clearing, possibly thanks to the shock and adrenaline rush. Hello? <laughs> there, standing against the window, the moon bright and full as a backdrop, my science project partner grins down at me. Remy? Remy, what's going on? <laughs> oh, don't worry. I've already studied your nerves, so I removed those, remember? Just in case, I added in a good dose of anesthetic. You won't feel any pain in your arm as we keep going. Or we could not. <laughs> Remy, stop! Why are you doing this? Why? Why? Well, that's the very reason, right? I don't know why, so I have to find out why. That sounds like a self-discovery journey, one that I don't really need to be a part of. There's so many things in this world I don't understand. I've got to discover on my own how everything works. Yes, key word, own. On your own, without other people, specifically me. <laughs> now, hold still as I go further, okay? I want to see with my own eyes how everything rotates when you move your arm, so I have to cut some more. Please don't. We don't need to do all of that. She holds up a scalpel and my heart sinks, thumping wildly in my chest. Is this it? Is this how I'll spend the rest of my life? As Remy's plaything? Oh God, I never, I never should have talked to her. I never should have tried to light up those blank eyes. I thought she needed someone, but she only ever needed a science project. This is weirding me out. <laughs> oh, that's the end. Huh, not bad. I'm glad I saved Remy's route as the last. She's pretty intense. I do the same. <laughs> the nerve removal scene was probably the worst thing in the whole game. The final scene wasn't nearly as terrifying. I wonder why they decided to do that. Did the developer chicken out? I grin proudly as I lean back against my chair and stare at the 100% completion screen. All in all, it was a fun visual novel with a number of unique endings for the three love interests. Unique. That's a fun word for it. <laughs> Vincent, Leon, the other two love interests, while not as intense as Remy, were fun as well. Can I even call Remy a love interest? She was never interested in the main character in the end. It started as a small suggestion to try playing visual novels that featured yandere love interests, but now I'm hooked. 
It's almost therapeutic. I've always liked the archetype. It keeps me on my toes. And this game had yandere leads for all three routes, so it was a real treat. Ugh, I gotta thank my coworker tomorrow for lending me this one. If I can muster the courage to talk to him, that is. I turn off my monitor and stand up from my computer desk. I can have all the imaginary conversations I want with my coworker, but nothing will beat the real thing as long as I make it into work tomorrow. That's so foreboding. Why wouldn't we make it into work the next day? Like, unless we already know we're in the game and we're playing a, a game in a game. I hurry and get ready for bed. After all, the early bird gets the worm. I don't like worms. That's why I sleep in late. <laughs> Damn it, it's morning already? I roll over and slap the snooze button on my alarm clock. It's fine. I always set my alarm extra early so I can hit snooze a few times before getting up. I'll admit it's a bad habit, but this is just how I live now. I do the same fucking thing. <laughs> I have two actual alarms set for the morning and then I just hit snooze like three or four times before I actually get out of bed. People who are able to like have their alarm go off once and then roll out of bed make no sense to me. Witchcraft. Okay, just one more time. Did someone break in? The door to my room flies open. I struggle to pull the blankets off my head as I hear a pair of angry slippers stomping towards me. Big bro! Quit hitting snooze and get up already. Shiver as the covers suddenly disappear from the bed. No amount of curling up could retain the heat I lost. Huh? I groggily blink my eyes open and push myself up to a sitting position. Through my bangs, I spy an angry redhead. What's the matter? Did you stay up late last night? Uh, no. <laughs> I struggled to keep myself upright, but... But... Hmm. I slump back against the headboard. It's no use. The world's blurring and I find myself tilting. Big bro! Hey, don't fall back asleep. The redhead shakes me until I grunt out a response. I'm up, I'm up. Good. I woke up early today just to make breakfast for a change. I know I said feel free to sleep in last night, but you're taking forever. We're gonna be late for school. Yeah, yeah, will do. Whew. Is this us? Did we wear overalls to bed? I sigh as he leaves the room, shutting the door behind him. Huh? School? I'm not in school anymore. And last I checked, I was an only child. Suddenly, I'm wide awake. This isn't my room. These aren't my clothes. Where am I? And what is that? Why is there a translucent box hovering in the air in front of me? <laughs> and it's repeating all of my thoughts. Oh God, what is going on? Why does it look like a visual novel text box? <laughs> Literally though, like worst case scenario. <laughs> oh, oh, it is. I'm hallucinating a graphics interference floating in front of me. Huh? Did I eat something funny last night? Also, what is wrong with my hair? I know I often have a bed head in the morning, but how did all of my hair get shoved in front of my eyes? I tug at my bangs, sweeping them back and hoping they'd stay. No such luck. Hmm. I stare at my hand. I had pulled a few strands of black hair out from all the tugging. I don't have black hair. Do I? I rub my eyes with my other hand. Yep, still black. I jump out of bed and run to the mirror across the room to get a look at myself. Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! <laughs> a panicked young man stares back at me from the mirror. Without a doubt, this is the image of a man several years younger than me. 
Hell, he doesn't even look like he's made it out of high school. Oh my god, come on! This stuff only happens in web novels and anime. It can't be real. It can't be happening to me. Literally, nightmare shit. <laughs> Whoa! Wh what the hell is this? There are more floating boxes now, and they look like visual novel menu options? <laughs> this is insane. I look at the boxes again. One is voicing my thoughts, and the others are menu options for selection. What will happen if I try to select them? Hmm. I feel like we're kind of... Kind of having a little bit of a break from reality right now. <laughs> but then again, we could be lucid dreaming. Like, we just got too into the game and we're now dreaming about it. That, or we could have accidentally quantum leaped into the unluckiest person on the planet's body. <laughs> Try to fix this fucked up situation, Scott Bakula. We're, we're, we're having just a little bit of a dream. We're just having a little bit of a lucid dream and we're fine. Nothing happened. Big bro, you better not have fallen back asleep. I, I didn't. I'll be right out. I'll think about this later. I need to get out of here. Aww. If this is just a dream, I hope I wake up soon. I have no desire to relive my high school days. Relatable. First things first, I need to get dressed. And find a way to keep all this hair out of my face. How does this person see with hair like this? Rifling through their closet, I finally find a hairband with a heart pendant attached to it. Not my style, but I can't find anything else, so it'll have to do. Adorable. <laughs> Great, now that I can see. I should find out more about this person I'm dreaming about. Hmm. I look at the floating text boxes. Given the hairstyle, it's safe to assume he's the main character of a visual novel. <laughs> Perhaps I really did transmigrate. This is a pretty specific symptom I'm experiencing. <sighs> no matter. I should work on figuring out this person's identity. This UI looks familiar. Hmm. And that boy who came here to wake me up looks familiar too. I searched through the desk for more information, but to my frustration, I can't find any notebooks to indicate the person's name. And you won't find any. Their name is Yin. The only useful information I could glean was the date, February 2nd. Did I hit a flag? Hmm. February 2nd. Is there something special about today's date? It feels like I'm forgetting something important. I'm sure it'll come to me eventually. Dream, psychotic breakdown, or transmigration. For now, I need to join my brother for breakfast before he gets even more annoyed at me. I wonder how he'd react to finding out I'm not really his brother. I'd better not ask until I can confirm what sort of person he is. I mean, if we're at a visual novel, we might as well go ahead and not trust a single goddamn person. <laughs> Especially if they're blonde. Finally, my brother flips the last pancake onto a plate. He sets it down on the table in front of me. <laughs> oh, trying something new today? <laughs> he nudges the spatula towards my forehead. I freeze. Did I screw up already? I like it. Maybe now you'll stop walking into things all the time. Ha <laughs> yeah. The protagonist of this game walks into things all the time and continues to wear his hair like this. I always just figured they had the ability to see through things. Or maybe just hair. They all have the superpower of being able to see through hair. Is something wrong? No. What the heck? His nameplate doesn't include a name. It just says brother. Why is that? Certainly he has a name. Or did the game's writers leave it out to avoid giving him a personality? Not hungry this morning? What? 
No. I hurried to take a bite of the pancakes and... Pancakes shouldn't make that noise. I removed the pancake from my mouth and run my tongue over my teeth to make sure nothing chipped off. That pancake's harder than a biscuit. How did he manage to do that without burning the whole thing? I'm so sorry. He quickly takes my plate from me and tosses both sets of pancakes in the trash before swinging open the fridge door and returning to the table with a loaf of bread and butter. You were right. I really shouldn't have tried cooking. No, it was... fine. I'll leave the cooking to you after all. Great. I don't remember the last time I made something that wasn't instant ramen. But I'll worry about that tomorrow. I take a bite of my toast and watch as my brother does the same. He looks familiar, but I can't quite pin where he's from. This is Roland. She's my emotional support lizard slash goblin. Just hold me. Just be here for me. <laughs> so I'm betting that this brother is from the game that we played before we went to bed. And we are lucid dreaming that we are stuck in this situation. <laughs> he finishes his breakfast and stands from the table. Hurry up or you'll have to finish it on the train. Yeah, yeah, coming. Then it hits me. The UI, his design, name tag only as brother. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's the last visual novel I played. Big bro? I startle, then catch myself on the back of the chair. I'm fine. I lift my eyes to see him staring back at me in concern. There's no doubt about it. The red hair, the punk love core aesthetic. It's definitely him. I didn't realize at first since the brother didn't have much of a role in the game. It started as a small suggestion to try playing visual novels that featured yandere love interests, but now I'm hooked. It's almost therapeutic. I've always liked that archetype. Those love interests keep me on my toes. Well, let's see if that's still true. <laughs> and this one had yandere's as all three love interests, so it was a real treat. <laughs> I swallow. No way, no way, no way, no way. You look a bit pale. Maybe you should stay home. Have I really transmigrated into a yandere only visual novel? Big bro? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Really? If you're sick, don't hide it. You already can't win the perfect attendance award anymore thanks to catching the flu last month. Take a day off if you need it. I'm really fine. So fine. <laughs> I don't want to relive my high school days, much less under such stressful circumstances. <laughs> Stressful's a word for it. <laughs> but I can't just disappear. There's one love interest in the game who already knows the main character and would hunt him down to the ends of the earth. That sounds healthy. I still have a chance to escape the other two since they don't know I exist yet, but if you really say so, yeah, let's just go. Aww. I don't know what to do. Everyone wants to be the star of a transmigration story until it turns out you've migrated into the body of someone with yandere love interests. Are you leaving me? This is a very hard time in my life, ma'am. Yeah, I need support. Why do they keep looking directly at the screen? <laughs> Ugh, calm down, calm down. I'll get nowhere if I panic. In fact, things might be even worse if I do. Big bro! Yes? I'm having an existential crisis. Give me a fucking second. 
as soon as I have time to myself, probably homeroom, I need to figure out a game plan. Hey, big bro, what are you doing? Huh? Going to school? We normally don't go together. Isn't there someone you have to meet up with? Uh... Something happened? Did you guys have a fight? Huh. Oh, no. Did I screw up already? Right! Leon! Crap, I'll be right back. That was Leon just knocking us the fuck out. You forgot to come meet me one fucking time and now you must die. I turn around and run right into someone's chest. Oh crap, I'm so sorry. Did you forget about me? I look up and find an athletic young man with a soft expression and light pink hair. A nervous expression paints his face and tears dot the edges of his eyes. If I didn't know better, I'd assume he was a giant crybaby teddy bear. I mentioned earlier that one of the love interests would hunt me down to the ends of the earth if I disappeared. That's Leon. It's definitely useless to run now. Leon, yandere love interest number one. Nice to meet you. He's the main character's childhood best friend and a great athlete. Currently, he's on the basketball team. So he can overpower me. So get a weapon as quickly as I can. <laughs> he's been in love with the main character for eight years now, but still hasn't confessed. Although generally docile, look at him. <laughs> He becomes violent if the player rejects his advances or distances themselves from him. A reasonable response. <laughs> but a happy end is available if the player chooses to ignore all the mysterious disappearances around Leon. I hate to say it, but of the three yandere's, I'm actually most likely to survive if I get on his route. It's easy. All I have to do is pretend to love him. Leon, I'm really sorry. It slipped my mind this morning. I didn't mean to. Ugh, what have I done? In the game, there wasn't an option to skip meeting up with Leon. I just completely forgot and kept walking with my brother. Why didn't the game do anything to alert me? Hello? God? System? Overlord of the universe? Shouldn't you be intervening with some help? But more importantly, does this mean I've already lost affection points with Leon? I mean, just so far from what we've learned about his character, it should be pretty easy to recoup. Any other visual novel and this would be fine, but I don't want to have my head beaten in with a baseball bat. I don't want to die. Look, I'll make it up to you, okay? We can get ice cream together after school. <laughs> like a date? Oh, I mean... Wait, should I be casually agreeing to this? I'd love to. Okay. Um, little bro, you want to come along too? Uh-huh. Little bro? Well, sure, if you don't mind. Yeah, the more the merrier. It's a good thing that Leon's the type that wants his target of affection to be happier. If I remember correctly, it's what allowed the other routes in the game to work. If the player chose to play the other routes, Leon drops by occasionally to give love advice because... As long as you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> as long as your happiness involves me in your life. Forever. I wonder if Leon ever got revenge for the main character and the other character's bad ends. That would be really sweet. So sweet. Ah, yandere's in fiction do make my heart flutter. Reality is a whole different matter though. <laughs> yeah, like when you go on a bad date and they don't end up bludgeoning you in the head with a baseball bat at the end disappointing. Even if someone loved me enough to kill my murderers, it wouldn't matter if I were already dead. By the way, are you trying a new hairstyle? 
Huh? Uh, yes. It's really cute. Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, thank you. I give a polite smile and hope he doesn't notice my stutter. The train arrives and we all get on. Thankfully, Leon starts a conversation with my brother about sports. It is a deep thing. Really, seeing him like this, I would never think he'd become homicidal if I said the wrong things. <sighs> I let out a sigh. It doesn't matter. I look at the two chatting again and ask before I think better of it. Hey, how would you guys react if I said I'm a different person from yesterday? Um, I'll still love you for who you are. Me too! No, I mean, um, what if I was someone completely different? Like, if I were a stranger who just woke up in this body today? <laughs> Ask if you need more sleep? <laughs> I won't allow it. Find a way to bring you back. I won't stand for someone else stealing your body. Little, uh, little intense for a hypothetical there, bud. <laughs> Leon, people can't switch bodies. If my brother said that, I'd say he should see a doctor. Oh, yes, definitely. <laughs> but if someone stole his body, I definitely wouldn't forgive them. I'll cut them into pieces to find a way to reverse the process. Honestly, same. <laughs> Uh, why would you need to cut them to pieces? If they manage something as novel and dangerous as body swapping, they probably wouldn't give it back so easily. So I'm prepared to torture the information out of them. <laughs> I think you've been watching too many movies, Leon. Anyways, why do you ask? Um, it was a scene from a web novel I was reading last night. The way the character's friends reacted to the question was so out there that I couldn't help wondering how people would actually react to it. It's still pretty out there. <laughs> oh, well, were our reactions anything like theirs? No. What web novel were you reading? I'd like to read it too. Uh, it was, um... Shit. Why do I keep digging myself into deeper holes? Sorry, I forgot the title. I'll check my history tonight to see if I can find it. Great, just let me know. Anyways, I've got some homework I need to do, so I'm going to sit over there. Um, because it's quiet. T uh, to focus. You know? Oh, sure. <laughs> cool. Talk with you in a bit. With that, I quickly turn away and leave them. Um... Do you think he's acting a little odd today? His hairstyle is different, but I think it's really cute. That wasn't what I meant, but okay. <laughs> Once I find a seat on the calmer end of the train car, I pull out a notebook from my bag and start scribbling down everything I remember from the game. The first love interest is Leon. After that is... Little pee pee boy Vincent. Vincent, yandere love interest number two. The second is Vincent, who comes from an incredibly wealthy family. He rules the school and gets away with doing whatever he wants by threatening everyone with his financial power. Okay, Derek. Apparently, he never realized all of his friends were either leeches or scared of him. When he finds out, he has a breakdown. Okay, Derek. If the player chooses to console him after that, his route starts and he becomes focused on ensuring he remains the main character's one and only friend forever. Whew. I want to be wanted like that. <laughs> Get it together. <laughs> Wait, no. This isn't the time to daydream about imaginary men that became real overnight. I like Vincent's protective and jealous personality in fiction. I don't want to be poisoned and locked in his basement for eternity in exchange for it. Anyways, I can just avoid his route altogether if I just don't console him. Easy enough. I see him crying, I'll just be like, and then fucking get on with my day. <laughs> Easy. Easy. 
the blonde. Remy, Yandari love interest number three. The third love interest is Remy, an antisocial genius with a secret fan club throughout the school. Like, there's a fan club for her, or she runs a fan club? <sighs> the route starts with the main character offering to be her partner for the science fair, but then he just becomes her torture victim. I'm pretty sure she never liked the protagonist. It's too bad. A sadistic yandere who got jealous if anyone else dared to torture her victim would have been wonderful. But the route didn't turn out that way. Whew. Either way, her route only had death ends. Horrible, gruesome death ends. <laughs> Thankfully, I can circumvent her route completely by never talking to her. No one would even question it. After ruminating over the facts for a while, I sneak a glance at Leon and my brother. <laughs> They're still having a lively conversation. Looks like the only one I can't avoid is Leon. Aww. Hmm. It could be much worse. Leon actually has a good end where I survive. Sure, others can die, but it's just a game. Big bro, it's time to get off. Oh, coming. <laughs> There's still a bit of time before first period starts, so a few students are sitting outside classrooms or getting food from the cafeteria. If I remember correctly, the main character traditionally spends his time in the cafeteria before class. This is so lame. Who hangs out at the cafeteria when they arrive early for school? There's like three malls, a theater, and a park nearby. How early are you getting to school? <laughs> okay, big bro. I'll see you later. Wait, what? Huh? I'm going to hang out with my friends? Yes, but... <laughs> I'll see you after school for ice cream. Don't leave me alone with Leon! <laughs> and he's gone. Let's go get breakfast. Uh, wait, Leon. He starts towards the cafeteria and I follow, keeping a few feet behind him as we walk. Oh, wait, the cafeteria. That's where Vincent... I should avoid that. How about we get breakfast at the pizzeria? Uh, I don't want junk food for breakfast. And the cafeteria food is supposed to be better? Then uh, let's skip school for today and go somewhere. Just the two of us. Oh. Just the two of us? I feel like I'm sowing the seeds for dangerous attachment here, but I have to make sure I stay on his route. <laughs> I'd love to go with you, but school is important. Besides, I have to practice for my game. Why did he have to be the good boy type? I didn't realize the good boy type included bashing people's head in with a baseball bat when they don't want to hang out with you 24-7. You can just come back for practice later. Even if the school didn't catch me sneaking back in, what if we're caught by the police? Uh... Then I could get in trouble. What if I get arrested? It'll be on my record forever. This is the guy that ends up committing murders for me? <laughs> How? Come on, let's get going. How about we wait outside the classroom? No way, I'm hungry. Hold on, we can... Huh? What the... No! Shit, we've walked into the cafeteria already. Look, Leon, why don't we... No! The students around us stop in their tracks to look towards the source of commotion. What was that? It was way too early in the morning for drama. <laughs> Vincent stands in the center of a group of students, holding his head in his hands. Somehow he's still handsome, despite the anguish on his face, sparkling even under the dull cafeteria light. Like he's the princess begging for the main character to swoop in and save him. Classic Himdari. <laughs> hmm. If I looked half as good when having a mental breakdown, maybe someone would come to rescue me. <sighs> the love core aesthetic is strong in this game. 
Vincent, it's not what you... Don't touch me! Vince, please, don't call me that! Get, get away from me! Vincent breaks out of the circle of his friends and runs past us out of the cafeteria. Vincent, leave him alone. We never wanted to talk with him anyways. That's you! I still want caviar every weekend and helicopter rides over skyscrapers! Dude, he just realized you were using him. You're just adding fuel to the fire. Give it a rest, okay? The conversation between Vincent's friends soon devolves into a debate on when they should talk to Vincent, with a few voicing quite loudly that they shouldn't at all. Wow. Hmm. Wow, indeed. As if anyone would verbally announce how shallow they are in real life. If I didn't see the floating text boxes earlier, this would have been the moment I realized I was living in a video game. <laughs> Anyways, let's go get breakfast. With that, Leon walks off towards the breakfast line. Video game logic. How can anyone in real life just ignore that? Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, I should be given a choice here to chase after Vincent, start his route, or follow Leon, stay on Leon's route. I wait a little while, but no menu options appear. But before I could ponder further... Hey, don't you want food? Class is about to start. No thanks, I already ate. Still, I accompany him to get his food, as there is still time before classes start. Once we find a place to sit, Leon wolfs down the whole tray of food in a matter of minutes. Mmm! There's no way that could have tasted good. I refuse to believe it based on my own experiences with school food. Are you sure you don't want any? The banana bread was really good. Uh, not really. But I can get you a second helping if you want. <laughs> you know me so well. Alright, I'll donate my portion to you. It's food that'll go to waste otherwise. I stand from the table and start towards the breakfast line. I barely take three steps before I see Leon get up from the corner of my eye. Huh? Why are you getting up? Because you're getting food. I don't follow. Come on, let's go before the bell rings. Just wait here, Leon. I can get a tray and bring it back for you. Mm. No, I'll come with you. Huh? But why? It's literally across the room. He doesn't have to come with me. He follows me to get food. Then, when I try to get a drink of water, he escorts me too. Of course, he doesn't see the problem with this and flashes me a grin as we return to the table. <laughs> Thanks for the breakfast. No problem. Ha 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 ha. Huh? Like a baby chick. I ship it. Aww. Yeah, I thought it was cute in the game too, but I really don't need a chaperone. Uh. Is everything alright? Just fine. <laughs> the second breakfast disappears in a blink of an eye. As I ponder how much more of this I have to bear, the bell rings. I quickly stand and start out of the cafeteria. Oh, wait up! He's still following me! Do we share a first class, Leon? Today? No, we don't have any classes together until tomorrow. Then why are you following me? I take a deep breath to calm myself down. Shouldn't you head to your class then? You're gonna be late. No, I can run really fast, and I'm tall enough to push through the crowds. I always have time to walk you to your class. Great. <laughs> I'm going to miss you. <laughs> I'll see you after school. That's way too long. I'm so sad we don't share any classes on Monday. <laughs> I'll see you later, Leon. I walk past him into my classroom, finally leaving him to tearfully wave goodbye from the doorway. I might be losing affection points, but I can't breathe like this. Did he hover this much in the game? I can't remember. How in the world did the main character suffer through eight years of this? 
The second bell hasn't rung yet, so the classroom is still bustling with students, scurrying between tables to chat with each other. Crap, where was I supposed to sit again? The floating menus are back! <laughs> Obviously, we sit right next to the window so we can gaze wistfully out of them like the main character we are. <laughs> This is where all anime protagonists sit, so this is a safe bet. I find my way to that desk and take a seat. Let's see, if I remember correctly, Remy is in this class. My gaze sweeps over to the other side of the classroom where a number of notices are posted. Just as I remembered from my playthrough, Remy stands by the bulletin gazing at the science fair poster. Hmm? Suddenly, she turns and makes eye contact with me. I quickly look away and take a notebook out from my bag. From the corner of my eye, I see her approach me. As I flip open the notebook and write today's date, the pen trembles in my hand. No! No way, no way, no way! I didn't accidentally trigger her route, did I? With eye contact? <laughs> uh. You're in my seat. Oh, fuck. Oopsie doodles. <laughs> I flinch at the sound of her voice, a chill running down my spine. What do I say? What do I say? Mm. You're in my seat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the correct response. <laughs> Please move. Mm? Can you hear me? Oh no. The longer I make this encounter, the less of a stranger I'll become to her. I've got to do something now. Oh, sorry. I, uh, my mistake. We stare silently at each other for several seconds. Her yellow-blue eyes look as dead and lifeless as I remember them to be. Uh. Then please get off. <coughs> right, of course. <laughs> I gather my stuff and get out of the seat, which she takes immediately. I hurry to the other side of the classroom before casting a glance at her. Thankfully, she appears occupied with scribbling in her notebook. <laughs> what are you doing over here? Class is going to start. Sorry, but could you tell me where my seat is? Wake up on the wrong side of the bed today? I woke up in the wrong bed today. <laughs> Something like that. It's the first one by the door. Thank you. Weirdo. <laughs> My morning classes pass by surprisingly quickly when I haven't a clue what my teachers are saying. I've forgotten everything I learned in high school. <sighs> I check the schedule in the main character's binder. I should have lunch next. My eyes drift to the blank space atop the sheet next to name. Hmm. How is it that I still haven't been able to discover my own name? Hey! <laughs> I jump as Leon taps me on the shoulder. <laughs> it's just me. Are you okay? Yeah, just fine. What the hell? Class just ended. How did he find me so quickly in this crowd of people? You seem rather antsy lately. <coughs> Do I? Yeah, your voice just squeaked. <laughs> Sorry, I just have a lot on my mind. Mm. Do you want to talk about it? No. It's just, um, stuff. Not worth troubling you over. Hmm. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> you probably wouldn't say that if you knew I'm not the main character you're head over heels for. Look, I, I'm just working through some things. I promise it's no big deal. Damn it, he doesn't look convinced. Leon, I promise it's no problem. Once I figure everything out, you'll be the first one I talk to. Please just wait a little longer. Ah. Oh. Okay, of course. Take all the time you need. Just remember, I'll always be here to talk whenever you want to. And whenever you don't. He grins at me, then turns towards the cafeteria. Let's go get lunch. <sighs> I can't believe that worked. My little brother sits with his own friends again for lunch, so I've been stuck with Leon talking at me nonstop for the last 30 minutes. Aww. Breakfast was fine since it was so short, but our lunch break is a whole 45 minutes. I'm going to the bathroom. I'll come with you. No! 
Mm. Why not? Is this a red flag? Because my eyes drift to our backpacks. I'm leaving my stuff here. I need you to help me and guard it. Please do it for me. I can't rely on anyone else. <laughs> of course, leave it to me. Whew. Finally, I get a breather. I don't know how much longer I can take this. I have to find a way to return to my own life. How does this work in anime and light novels? There should be a system or god I can contact. <laughs> do not go towards that stall. Do not do it. Who's crying in there? I look around the room. That's when I notice the first stall is shut. We're gonna leave. We're not gonna ask if they're all right because that's how you die. <laughs> Bye. Hmm. The last thing anyone wants is to be pitied when they're crying. I'll just sneak out and find another bathroom. I walk towards the door, but right as I'm passing the stall, we stare at each other like deers caught in headlights. His eyes are puffy from crying and his lips flutter open and close as he tries to determine whether to scream at me in anger or agony. We're gonna be an asshole and leave! <laughs> Suddenly, Vincent reaches out and grabs me by the wrist. What are you doing here? Um, uh... I struggle to find what to say, my mind flying in all directions. Fuck, it just had to be Vincent. Why? I thought I avoided his route completely. In the game, the main character consoles Vincent before first period in the hallways. Why is the event still available after lunch? Wait, wait. As long as I don't console him, I should be fine, right? But what if he gets angry at me for that? Would he hurt me? If he wanted someone transferred to another school, it happened. If he wanted someone to date him, it more or less happened. And if he wanted someone dead, that actually did happen. I swallow. Well, did you come to laugh at me? No. No, I just, I came to use the bathroom. Hmm. Then go. What the hell are you standing around for? Yeah, no, my mistake. Um, I turn to look at the urinals, then back at him. He raises an eyebrow. I'll find another bathroom. Sir. Yeah, I get it. Everyone hates me that much. Yes, so don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> A sudden, unreasonable guilt tightens its jaws on my stomach. What? I get it. All anyone ever wanted from me was my money. That's the only reason they put up with me. No, not me at least. Even after dying multiple times on his route, I never once thought that... That's not true! Damn it! Uh, what am I saying? I'm supposed to run away, but... But... I don't dislike you at all. And it's not because of your money. I think you have great qualities outside of being rich. <laughs> like... Like, your determination and drive to get the things you want. Sure, it usually involves money, but you also don't let anyone get in the way of the things you want. I think it's really admirable. Great. Maybe I can pit all of them against each other. Then they can fight it out like The Ring and the Grudge did in that one movie. <laughs> oh, no! Shit, what did I just say? Consolation! I just consoled him. Really? Yeah, but... I... Uh... I gotta go! <laughs> and with that, I ran out of the bathroom. There's a chance that Vincent will hate me for leaving like that and start some typical dating sim bullying, but I doubt I'll remain on his radar for long. It'll be worse than if he takes a liking to me. I don't stop running until I'm back in the cafeteria. Leon quickly spots me and waves me over. <laughs> You're back! Yeah. I made sure all your stuff was safe and sound. Oh, thanks. I'm surprised he's not, like, holding it to his chest. Uh... Is everything alright? <laughs> Perfectly fine! Why? You look a little pale. The way he cares so much makes my heart flutter. A tiny bit. Don't get sucked in, dude. Because that's how you die. <laughs> it's nothing. I ran into some trouble in the bathroom that's all 
trouble? Was someone bothering you? Bullies? I'll go take care of them for you. What? No. It's just that... He's not going to believe it's nothing anymore. If I want to stay on his route, I have to give him a firm answer. He likes it when I rely on him. Well, actually, I was having a hard time with this one guy in the bathroom. Hmm. I knew it. Who was it? I'll go talk with him. No. No, please don't. Actually, he was the one who was having a hard time, not me. I don't think Vincent would appreciate me telling others he was crying in the bathroom. Gossip travels fast in this school. So I was talking with him a bit to help him feel better. Mm. I didn't want to leave him alone. We showed affection to somebody else. That's fucking unacceptable. Now he has to scoop out one of our eyeballs. <laughs> Leon's awfully quiet. When I shift my eyes back to him, his expression is unreadable and he's staring at me intently. Why isn't he saying anything? The bell rings and I quickly stand from the table. I, uh, have to get to class. Oh, right. I'll see you after school, Leon. Yeah, see you. He's not happy. Why is my heart racing? All he did was look at me. There was nothing special, yet. The way he was staring at me, like he was paying attention to every minuscule twitch of my muscles, and he doesn't shut up. Ever. You sat with him for 30 minutes and you wanted to just, like, run out of the school screaming because you were so fucking bored. <laughs> hmm. I shouldn't feel this way. Am I just conflating my time here with good moments from the game? Yes. Besides, it's not like any looks he gives me are actually meant for me. Still, my heart thumps involuntarily hard against my ribcage and a strange yearning catches in my throat. I forcefully swallow it down. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> Leon is handsome, but his personality? Who knows when he'd snap. Besides, he's a video game character. Completely fictional. There's no point in getting excited over some pre-programmed code. Like, come on. I'm not that desperate for attention. Am I? Who is this? Ow. My head. Am I forgetting something? The rest of the day flies by uneventfully. Even the after-school ice cream session went through without a hitch. Finally, I arrive home. Whew. I kick off my shoes at the entrance and collapse on the couch with a loud sigh. Finally, a break from all these yandere's. Big bro! At least put your stuff away. He puts them in the cabinet for me. Sorry. Thanks, little bro. Aww. Damn it. Why'd the main character have to have such good habits? This makes trying to stay inconspicuous so much harder. Uh-huh. Why are you so tired already? All we did was get ice cream. I, um, just have a lot on my mind. Um... Wanna talk about it? Nah, not really. Well, okay. Oh, no, I didn't mean it that way. I appreciate the offer, I just... Uh, I'll try to solve this on my own first. Sure! Sounds good, big bro. Oh, he bought it. I was just thinking, if you could rely on me a bit in the future, that'd make me really happy too. What a weird fucking thing to say. <laughs> I'm always depending on you, so if I could return the favor somehow, just let me know. Anyways, I'll be going now. I've got homework to do. Let me know when dinner's ready. He disappears into his room and slams the door before I could say anything. Wow, the main character sure is lucky to have such a sweet little brother. Hmm. I stare at the date box floating in the corner of my vision. This should be the end of day one in the game. I have to survive 13 more days of this until Valentine's Day, when I go on a date with one of the yandere's and hopefully don't get murdered. The game usually ends with the main character getting killed before or during the date. Huh? But what happens after 13 days? Do I get to leave the game and return to my real life? I sure hope so. I just paid back all my student loans and I don't want to do that again. <laughs> Aww. Also, assuming I'm on Leon's route, I don't want to spend the rest of my life ignoring all of his crimes. And besides, as good looking as he is, he isn't my IRL type. <sighs> 
I'll let future me worry about that. I have to focus on surviving until Valentine's Day first. Well, look at that. We survived day one and we were not kidnapped. So I call that a success. <laughs> this game is hilarious. Like fucking every deadpan look into the camera with some bullshittery happens is killing me. <laughs> Can't wait to come back and finish off day two. May you have pleasant dreams that don't involve getting bludgeoned to death with a bat. <laughs> and I will see you later.